Hey, welcome back. Today, I want to reply to a question that was asked on my last video, where I mentioned that I had exported a character out of the Unreal Editor to use in Blender. So, I thought I'd make a video about it, showing how I did that. And also to show how you can add the character to your Blender asset library, so you can easily drag and drop it into any scene you're working on. So, the first thing I'll do is open up the Epic Games Launcher, and then launch Unreal Engine. Then I'll select Games, and I'll choose the third person template and hit the Create button. And here in the editor, I'll come down to the bottom and open up the Content Drawer. Then I'll open up the Characters folder, and then the Mannequin UE4 folder, and then the Meshes folder. And the one I want is the SK Mannequin Skeletal Mesh. So I'll select this guy and I'll drag him out here so you can see what he looks like. And now I'll come back down here and right click on him, go to Asset Actions and then Export. And I'll choose my desktop as the export location. And I'll leave the name and the FBX file type as is and click Save. And that will open up the FBX export options. And in here, I want to leave this set to FBX 2013. And then deselect all these options and then click Export. And here I have a new Blender file open, so I'll go to File, Import, FBX, and then go to my desktop and select the mannequin FBX file. And I'll uncheck Animation and then Import. So here he is, but I don't need this skeleton, so I'll select it and delete it. But now you see the mannequin has become a giant. So with him selected, I'll come over here to the sidebar in the item section, and I'll set the X, Y, and Z scale to 0 0.01. And then I'll hit the period key on the number pad to zoom in. And I'll hit Control A and reset scale. And now you can see that the X, Y, and Z are all set back to 1. And now I just need to do some cleanup. So over here in the outliner, you see there's a modifier applied. So I'll come down here to the modifiers panel and delete the modifier. And there are also vertex groups. So I'll go to the object data properties. And I need to delete all these groups, which I have to do one at a time. So I'll select this one down here at the bottom. And I'll just keep hitting the minus key until they're all gone. And now back up here, I can also delete this other mannequin item. And I'll rename this one to UE4 Mannequin. And the last thing I'll do is come over here to the Material Properties. And I'll delete these materials. And then up here in the Outliner, I'll switch this to Unused Data. And I'll delete all of these unused items. And now I want to double check to make sure this guy is the correct scale. So I'll select him and then go to File, Export, FBX. And I'll set my desktop as the destination. And I'll call this Test FBX. I'll choose Selected Objects. And I'll choose just the mesh. And then Export. And now back here in Unreal, I'll open up the Content Drawer and choose Import, go to my desktop, and choose the Test FBX, and click Open. And I'll leave all this stuff as is, and choose Import. And now you see I have my test guy here, so I'll just drag and drop him into the scene. And you see he's the same size as the original guy that I exported. So now back here in Blender, you'll probably want to save this guy to an asset library so you can easily drag and drop him into any scene whenever you need to. And to do that, you'll need to create a folder on your hard drive somewhere. And it doesn't matter where, but I like to keep things organized, so I keep all my Blender stuff in a Blender directory. I have mat caps and materials and all of my add-ons saved in here. So I've created a new folder called RD Assets here. 
and the RD is my initials, just to make sure this asset folder doesn't have any conflicts with any other asset folder. And then inside this folder, I have another folder called RD characters, again with my initials. And of course, I can create more folders inside this assets folder for any other models that I might want to add to my library in the future. But for now, it's just this one characters folder. So now I'll go to edit preferences. And in the file pass section, we have asset libraries. And you see, I already have a few libraries in here for stuff that I've purchased. But I want to create a new library. So I'll click this plus button and browse to my Blender directory and select my Assets folder. And then I'll click here to Add Asset Library. And now you see it's showing up here, so I'll come down here to the corner and click Save Preferences and then close the window. And now I'll hover my cursor down here in the corner until I see it turn into a plus sign. And then I can drag out a new window. And I'll open up this menu and choose Asset Browser. And I'll switch to Current File. And you see there's nothing in here right now. So I'll select the mannequin and then go to the Outliner. And right click and choose Mark as Asset. And now you see it has this little library icon next to it so that you know it's an asset. And it also shows up down here in the Content Browser. And I can drag and drop them into the scene just like any other asset. But if I open up a new Blender file and drag out a new window and switch to the Asset Browser, you see that my library is here, but it's empty. And that's because I haven't saved my file yet. So I'll close this file and I'll delete this guy. And now I just need to save this file to the Characters folder that I created. So I'll go to File, Save As, and browse to my Characters folder. And I'll call it UE4 Mannequin. And now if I open up a new Blender file, and drag out a new window, go to the Asset Browser, and then to my Library, there he is, and I can drag and drop him into the scene. And that's it. Now you have a character that you can use to build models at the correct scale and proportions to use in your Blender projects, or to export out and use in your Unreal projects. So that's about it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.